Well, all right, fish lots. It's a beautiful day, and you're trying to take your kid fishing. You're going to catch a few fish, enjoy some geese. You take a look over to the water's edge, and oh my God, that thing is monstrous. What do you do? What do you do when you see it? Hello again, Fishalots, and welcome to another edition of Fishing with Johnny Fishalot. As you can tell from that intro, today we're going to be talking about the fishing spider. Stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to answer five of the most commonly researched questions surrounding the spider, and I'll handle some misconceptions also around the fishing spider. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is John, and I'm the resident Fishalot here at Fishing with Johnny Fishalot. I worked professionally on boats for eight years. It was my full-time job. I fished every single day um, in order to make a living. And so the purpose of this channel is my passion is to bring you those tips and tricks that I learned both professionally and non-professionally over the course of 30 years of fishing so that you can maximize your time out on the water when you get that precious free time from either your family commitments, maybe you're going to school, or maybe you just work crazy hours like I do in my current job. But now without further ado, let's talk about the fishing spider and if you should be concerned when you run into this big guy. Well guys, look at this friendly fella. Let's jump right into it. Question number one. Can a fishing spider swim? The answer to that is absolutely 100% yes. It not only can swim, but it actually can float on top of the water and actually can walk on water. So these spiders have these specialized spines right here as I'm illustrating. And those spines, when the spider is kind of displaying itself out like this, is actually fishing. This spider is actually fishing for fish. It spread itself out. Those spines are reading motion under the water so that the spider could tell what prey items are beneath it, if they're coming into range for it to strike and eat it, or if there's a predatory fish or animal or something coming where it has to get out of the way. Not only can it swim on water, not only can it walk on water, but it's probably the spider kingdom's equivalent of a master scuba diver. It has specialized hairs on its body which trap air bubbles against kind of like gills or its lungs across its abdomen, and it can actually submerge itself underwater and breathe air while underwater for a short time. So it could hunt from the land, it could hunt on top of the water, or it could actually hunt under the water. Pretty fascinating stuff from the fishing spider. Question number two, are they poisonous or venomous? The answer to the first question is no. In order for the spider to be poisonous, you would have to grab it, cook it, and eat it or just grab it and eat it raw if you're into that kind of thing. So if you eat it, I think it'd be perfectly fine. Is it venomous? The answer to that question is yes. <laughs> it uses these mandibles here, as you can see, to inject its venom into its prey and immobilize it. Not only will it immobilize its prey, but it'll also turn its victim into soup from the inside out, and that's actually how the spider eats. So, little nasty. But yes, it is venomous. Now look at the size of these things. That's something else to take in mind. This spider here is occupying like a quarter of this reading post made for tourists to learn about this beautiful geyser. And this fishing spider is just massive. Question number three, do they bite? Sure, it's a spider. So if you trap it, if you catch it, if you injure it, it may bite you to protect itself. I mean, in this case, you see my three-year-old, he's just digging around in the brush. He's ripping trees off. He's, he's ripping leaves out of things. You know, he's putting his hands into everything. So if he comes up onto a, on one of these spiders and he grabs it or he injures it, or one just is surprised by a three-year-old digging around, then quite possibly they could be bit, or my son in this case could be bit. Okay, guys, well, that brings us to questions four and five. Are they aggressive and are they dangerous? If you're not a fish, a small fish or a frog, they're not aggressive to you. If you're a frog or a fish, watch out. They will track you down, run after you, pounce on you and inject you with soup boiling venom. Now, are they dangerous to you? The answer to that question is 90% of the time, no. If you are bit by a fishing spider, it's the same as getting bit by a small bee 
or something like that where you got a little bit of a sting, but nothing bad. Now, if you are allergic to bee stings or if you find yourself allergic to spider bites, that may be something that you want to keep an eye on because if you have an allergic reaction, then you may need medical attention. If you're not allergic, the bite won't do a thing. It'll just be a little pinch and you'll be perfectly fine. Well, all right, fish lots, that'll do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed this video on spiders and fishing spiders. And I hope with this new information that you can enjoy your time fishing alongside your new fishing partners. So if you gain value out of this video, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that when I post new videos, you'll be sure to get notified. All right, guys, be safe out there. I'll see you on the water. I'll see you next time.